Jadron Hearn is Wingsland Mini Vet. I got it all calibrated, ready to go. I have a screen on here with a e Sheen ROT G01 on it. We're gonna try to pay attention to that and go out for a little bit of distance. I will be recording that. So, uh, and we can also record on board too via this. I can't see if it's recording. Maybe, uh, let's see here. This button here. It's up. Now it's recording. On board. It is up. We are in GPS mode. It is holding. Gonna go for a little run out here. Try to pay attention to my screen. For the most part, I could pay attention to that because it's bright orange and I could see it. But uh, we're going to keep it up. I'm having a hard time looking at the screen, sadly, so we're not going to be doing a long, long range run with it. 200 meters out, I'm fine with. Um, wish it was duller that way uh i'd be able to take it out further but we're gonna go ahead and turn around looking at my screen here i'm looking at my screen i can see buildings over that way so we should be good to go to come this way oh no hold on all right let's get our orientation right let's see i'm gonna go up raise up raise up raise up raise up all right, there's a road over there. I believe that's the correct way. Hmm. Hard time to tell. Um, let's see, it's over there. We go this way. Easy there. I'm having a hard time orientating this which ain't good because I can't see my 5.8 gigahertz uh, screen here too well that would have to be the way back there has to be oh what is it doing Okay, I think, I think I have headless mode or something on because I'm pulling backwards and it's coming towards me. That's the issue that I was having. Um, and maybe that's what that lock on, uh, on the whatchamacallit, maybe that's what the lock and airplane button over there is. It's a good thing I figured that out. <laughs> that could have been bad. Maybe that's my upper toggle. So, all right, we got it back. Um, we are going to uh, flip this toggle up this way. Bam. All right, now let's see. Let's see, try to, going forward, let's see if I have full pitching. That's exactly what that was. That's a great learning experience. That's good though, I mean, Headless mode, that way you don't have to try to orientate yourself back. You just pull back then. Really nice drone. And again, that camera's 5.8 gigahertz. So hypothetically, we could throw goggles on and go for a ride.
locked onto 11 satellites. I don't know if I have control of the camera. Yeah, I do. I can tilt the camera down, which is cool. Um, we're gonna pan this way. Put that camera back up. Super cool drone. I mean, this is this is much like a Phantom, um, but with a 5.8 gigahertz gimbal camera. We're gonna go ahead and bring it down. Well, we'll turn this way and bring it down. And we'll look down just a little bit. Three cell battery in this. Let him pitch upwards. And there's a little, there's a little kind of thumb pad, push pad on the back of this easy there, wobbling a little bit, um, that you can adjust that camera. I am dealing with some wind. Go figure, like every day this week we got wind. Bring it in here so you can get a good look at it. Sit. Nope. When you sit a little bit higher. And uh, I'm not sure the procedure as far as uh, as far as it goes, as far as LVC. I'm not sure if the controller has it or if the lights just start blinking. wasn't so bright. I should have just brought goggles out. I should have threw the setup in goggles, but I kind of wanted to keep my eyes on this. So we went out further than I wanted to because it was in headless mode. <laughs> I was facing the right direction. I was pacing forward, um, which, which is kind of good. I mean, that's about the only good thing I can see for headless mode, and I'll show you right now. So we're gonna face myself here. Okay. We are going to face myself. We're gonna look down at myself. There I am. Um, and I'm gonna throw it in headless mode, which we now get a lock image and blinking lights and press forward. I'm pressing forward and because it's in headless mode, it is flying away from me with the camera facing that way though. And to get it back, easy there buddy. And to get it back, even though the camera's facing me, we're pulling backwards to get it back towards me. That there is about the only thing I could see headless mode being used good for is if you can't orientate well um, and you wanted to do a flyback and you didn't want to back out of it and you wanted to kind of fly forward to direct it, that'd be good. And then when I put, uh, when I put this top switch back up, the back green lights stop blinking, um, which is good. We're at 11.3 volts. And again, I'm really not sure uh, what the voltage should be when I should bring this down here. I'm assuming on the screen, it'll give me a display saying, hey, time to land something along that juncture. So then we're just gonna kind of fly this around. Again, I'm recording on the gimbal via SD card. I'm also recording 5.8 gigahertz via cell phone to OTG. So I might do a long edit on this and layer the video. That way you guys can see uh, the 5.8 gigahertz transmission and you can see the quality of the camera on the drone itself. I see somebody coming into my airspace that I do not like. Absolutely, it's a helicopter. J Drone don't like helicopters. We're bringing this down. I crashed a Bugs too because of a helicopter. 
That is weird. I'm bringing this over towards me. That is a big helicopter, dude. We're gonna bring this towards me. And again, this is all a, all a part of drone flying and being safe. Not helicopters flying low. I'm gonna say, and we're bringing this down a little bit more. I've never had a helicopter fly that low over here. I've had a crop duster cross this field once. But that's all a part of flying safe, guys. I seen it off in the distance, I mildly heard it. There it is, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's well below the clouds. I can fly above the clouds. That thing's well below the clouds there. That's a big chopper too, dude. So we're just gonna chill here until he gets out of this area. And here, we got caution on my screen. Or I had caution on my screen. I don't know what the caution was about. Yeah, we got caution, probably LVC warning now. Um, we're at 10.9. Uh, I believe we could go a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna push it. Um, fluctuating between 10.9 and 11 volts. Got an 11 minute flight on it. Uh, I haven't started blinking on the drone yet. I'm trying to think, let's see. Ten point something. Um, let's see a two cell battery, seven point four plus another three point seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, one. So eleven, ten point one. Yeah, we could still fly around a little bit with this, but uh, we're gonna set it down. I have no reason to really draw draw that battery. nice sit down we're gonna stop recording on here we're gonna stop recording on the camera by pushing this forward that'll stop that recording and we're gonna shut down the drone simply by pulling the battery out and these blue lights if you see these blue lights here I don't know if you can see those blue lights if they're solidly lit that means you have GPS which your screen will also tell you that you have GPS let's see here we got a 11.1. So we took it down a little bit less than uh, we probably should have because uh, we were around the, and nope, we don't want that connected. We were around the 10.9, 11 mark. As you can see, FPV screen is blanked out. We would just go ahead and get out of there by unplugging that, we'll turn that off. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. I absolutely love Wingsland drones, despite the fact that X1 uh, didn't pan out to be quite what I wanted it to be, although I haven't given it a fair shake yet because uh, um, I haven't flown it without wind. I have the S6, which we haven't tested yet. And again, there's my FPV setup right there. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Um, a little look at this gimbal here. It's like a ball gimbal uh, as opposed to DJI's. It's a little bit different. The gimbal works well. You'll see that in the video. All right, later.